As a busy realtor in Pittsburgh, I'm always around town checking out new businesses, restaurants, and fun things to do. I want to share with you my favorite places and things to do in the South Hills. I'm Shelly Killinger with the Shelly Killinger Group at Remax CSI, and this is South Hills Saturdays. Hey everyone, so I am super excited for today's South Hill Saturdays episode. We traveled south to McMurray and we are standing in a little pottery studio called Fired Up Pottery Studio and it is the most amazing place. You have to check it out. I'm standing here with Deborah Bracco, who's the owner of Fired Up Pottery Studio. Yep. Deborah, thank you so much for having us today. Well, thank you for coming in. I'm yes. excited. We're going to have some fun. I think we're going to yes. have some fun. I don't think you have an option but to have fun this in here, is true. right? This is a happy place. Yes, exactly. Well, it says Pottery Studio on the sign. Correct. But I have a feeling there's a little bit more than pottery happening here. What, what else do you guys do? Well, we are a paint your own pottery infused glass art studio, That's but awesome. we also offer clay hand building, mosaics, canvas painting, and glass painting. Wow. Yes. So you do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Right. And creativity is everywhere. I it's can already expected, see it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. So how long have you been here in McMurray? The store has been here in September. It will start our 19th year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So a long a time. A long time. It's been part of the neighborhood. Yes. yes. Well, and you can tell there's lots of people that are having a good time. Yes. Um, that's awesome. It so is. what else do you do? I mean, do you have classes that you do? We do. Parties, things like that? We do. We offer classes on a regular basis and you may sign up online or call into the store or you can just come in and create anything that you see. We have lots of samples out that are wow. there specifically for people to replicate. Uh, we have a lot of step-by-step -step directions that we can easily Which give. Which I would need, yes, for sure, yes. I would need. And yes, we do birthday parties, bachelorette okay. parties, and really just about everything. I love that. Well, so show us around a little bit. You know, I, you've got, you tell me, fused glass, but I don't know exactly yeah. what that means. Could well, you maybe show yeah. me a little bit? Yeah. Let's start over here with the okay. fused glass. Fused glass is the art of cutting glass and layering it, and then it goes into the kiln. And you oh, can wow. make something as simple as this, and I'll hold it up to the light so you can see that it looks oh like stained gosh. glass. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Well, show us around a little bit more. Absolutely. I see all sorts of fun things. There are all sorts of fun things. Anything white that you see on the shelves is called bisque. It's pottery. It's ready okay. to receive paint. So paint your own pottery studio. You come in, you pick your piece, you paint. You leave it with us for a week. We oh. perform our magic, and I'll show you a little bit of the yes. magic in the back later. And then you pick it up. Yep, everybody right now yeah. is painting pottery. So you can see what stages they're in. Uh, the goal is to get three even coats. Okay. And you might see them, you know, sitting here for a while. And we encourage people, take your time. You can always come back to finish. There's never a charge to come back to finish. Oh, so you so can stop and then come absolutely, back. Absolutely, awesome. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. People are interested in either painting oh, wine, glasses wine glasses or beer steins. That's yes. something we call a make and take. You would make it and take it home with you. It doesn't have to stay here. Right. And then, and then over back here? here, yeah, we have mosaics. And mosaics oh, are the art of taking cut pieces of glass. Oh, wow. And oh, and they're in shapes. Yeah, they oh, are in cool. shapes. Yeah and then gluing them onto a substrate. And this is also a make and take. You can make this and take it with you. So there's no firing or anything no that happens here. No firing or anything. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, how pretty. Yep. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, clay hand building. We have some samples right here that we have done. Uh, clay is by appointment. This is not mm -hmm. something that we can do out in the open. And then canvas painting. You can see all of these canvases. You can come in and paint. Yeah. Well, can you tell us a little bit about what happens after you finish yes. doing you know, the painting that they're doing? Right. What happens then? Let's head toward the production room in the back. Okay, sounds great. When somebody paints, the pieces come back here and they dry. This is all from this oh, wow. morning right here. Oh, look so, at the turtles. I mean, they're cute. This yeah. was from summer camp this morning. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you do I'll summer camps, too. Yes, we do. We'll That's up. awesome. We had a bunch of kids come in and paint sea turtle plates. Um, so it sits here. It'll sit here for 24 hours. It has to be completely bone dry before right. we do anything with it. And then, if you want to come around to this side, you can see this. This is our vat 
Oh my Glaze. goodness. It's all it's green. green. <laughs> Everything is green and I specifically held something off to dip. So this is a piece that sat for a while. Yeah. And we're ready to glaze it. And I'm gonna put it into the glaze. Oh wow. But it doesn't stay green. No, it burns off. It's green so that we can make sure we've covered every surface. Oh, interesting. It'll burn off clear. It's it's uh think of it like liquid glass. Yeah. Yep. Oh how neat. So we patiently wait for the big drips to go away before we shake it. Oh, I love so it. then this would then wait right here. So if you want oh, to look awesome. inside of a kiln, this is a kiln that's already So this is not on? Be, no, it's not on. If it's okay. open, it's not on. It's not on, right? We, we already have a, a layer down in there, and everything has to sit on a bed of nails. Which I find looks hilarious, like literally, as a bed of nails. It, it's kind of like plain Jenga. You right. Know, you don't want it to fall over. So everything has to balance on a bed of nails. Wow. And then it goes on to the kiln shelf. Yeah. And then the kiln runs, it, it, it exceeds 2400 degrees. It runs for a good day, it, it'll ramp up, it'll hold, and then it takes almost the rest of the day to come down. This is okay. why we tell you all this that goes on back here, that's why we say it takes about seven days. That's where the magic happens, exactly. you know. It's, there's nothing better than opening up the kiln when the kiln's ready to be open and going, oh, it's like Christmas every, oh, every time we it. open the kiln. We have no idea what we're going to see under the green. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This has been so interesting. Interesting and eye-opening, and I had no idea fun. kilns actually got that hot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Well, I just want to take a moment. I think we're gonna try a project, but okay. I wanted to take a moment to thank you just for having us by today. I'm thrilled. To so informative. You. Yeah. And I want just to say to you guys, you know, if you want to know more about Fired Up Pottery Studio, please check out the description down below. We're gonna link up to their hours. We're gonna link up to their social handles, their Instagram, their Facebook pages, so you can learn all you need to know about Fired Up. And please come in and visit them. They're really awesome. We'll see you guys next time.